Hello there guys, Quirty Afro here. Welcome back to another video. Today is a bit of a special one. I am bringing you my first ever video in hopefully a uh, nice lengthy series, a new one here on the channel, and it is for the game The Bus, which is a new uh, bus simulator, city kind of bus driving simulator set in Berlin uh, with BVG, and it is made uh, by the folks at uh, TML Studios. Uh, this is uh, something I've been looking forward to for quite some time, ever since I kind of got into Fernbus and when I saw that this was another project in the works for the future, I've always had my eye on this game and the development of it, so I'm really pleased that TML reached out and uh, allowed me into this uh, early access into uh, the game before it's actually even released out to anyone. I do believe the game is coming out soon. Uh, after the 20, I think it's after the 20, I think it's 25th, it's near the end of March where it's going to be available early access for everyone uh, to get. So they're bringing this game out in early access, which is obviously something a little bit different to where, like how before with say like a game like Fernbus, which was just released and then updated. This game is being released in early access with uh, different phases uh, of the development cycle of things will be eventually of course added to the game uh, I'll leave down the link down below to the actual development uh, roadmap for uh, the game as well as if you do get the game there's actually a link that you can use inside the game and it will take you to uh, the um, web page which, which actually shows you the actual roadmap and the actual development kind of like timeline where they want to add things to as well as the steam page itself actually gives a quite nice breakdown of what phases are going to be in the actual early access cycle of the game so i'm really excited uh this is a game i've uh as i said i've been looking forward to because this is the gonna be this is a one-to-one -one scale uh bus driving game it's only set in one city compared to something like firm bus where it's a uh, firm bus is a huge uh you know multiple countries sort of like a spanning uh game where you can drive you know intercontinental you know across borders but obviously that game is scaled back in scale because obviously it would just be huge if it was done one-to-one -one scale but this game however is only focusing on one city which is berlin in this case and it is one-to-one -one. so we're going to get a lot more detail in terms of where we're driving you know if you're someone from berlin probably you might be able to spot you know roads and stuff like that things are going to be in place where they are in real life so that's another thing that's uh, really just exciting to uh, exciting me to really get into this game uh, another thing is multiplayer multiplayer is something that's actually going to be put into the game uh, there is things like an economy mode where you're building up your own bus company so this game is definitely much more I think it's kind of like if you took firm bus and a tourist uh, tourist bus simulator sort of those kind of aspects of the economy side plus firm bus but to a one-to-one -one scale and more detail this is the kind of game that kind of comes out the other end but it looks to be good i like the kind of look uh in terms of where the development cycle is going again the link will be down below for you guys to check out the roadmap as well as the steam page uh, where you can actually have a look at more details but let's get into the game shall we this is actually now the main menu of the game it's very much when i loaded up the first time and um, by the way i'm in a alpha this is alpha phase 1.0 it also says beta down in the bottom right corner. I don't know why, but I think we are in technically alpha. The game is not finished. It's nowhere near like, as polished as, say, like Fern Bus is currently in its form. Uh, so th things are subject to change as well. I'm playing on a build which is not public release. This is uh, before when the game was actually embargoed, where I couldn't actually share anything. So I'm re recording this when I'm having access to it, but obviously I can't share it until the embargo date. Uh, is lifted but if you're watching this then it's obviously lifted and i can share it with you guys finally so this is the main menu and um, firstly like it's a nice kind of more kind of fresher looking menu than say fan bus fan bus was uh, just a little too simplistic for me but it did the job but this is a lot more like sleeker a lot more modern it shows you all the kind of stuff that will be coming soon obviously there's like a there's not a, there's not a lot of stuff that you can access currently because it's obviously not available yet even like say like the the map area you can't because obviously there's only one map there's things as well as i've said like multiplayer will be coming soon uh economy 
uh tutorials as well are not in it there's uh as well mods like i, I guess repaints as well would be something are we i don't know if we're going to be seeing more extensive mods than just repaints because obviously that's something that i feel firm bus lacked in that department uh it would have been really cool to see thing more things like you know things that you can mod about the coaches maybe the sounds maybe uh things that you can add like accessories or gadgets in the coach and stuff like that and maybe even different passenger mods or uh sound mods uh sound mods like in terms of like uh the uh passenger announcements or you know kind of stuff like that the only thing really we saw with fan bus was just the repaint and i'm guessing that's going to be a thing with this game i do believe there's also a competition going to uh going on now by tml for this game uh to for someone to make a repaint and uh it will be immortal you will be immortalized uh in the game i think that's the the, the, the prize of it i think not too sure but it would be really cool to see kind of things like more kind of mods uh than there were in say like fan bus uh we have like an editor thing here which i guess is the, the kind of thing where it breaks down all the stops uh that you can like uh, you know pull in pull out like of uh, you don't have to do the just the set the set route i've not really had too much of a play with it this is obviously something i'm need to get used to and i've only played the game just a couple of times just to kind of test it out and stress test it uh but you can see here there's only one route currently available in this kind of kind of ver current version of the game there's probably more uh, that uh, will be about, uh, eventually added uh, the route is this txl uh, route uh, which is um I'm going to presume it's a very it's popular-ish route in Berlin, run by BVG. Uh, it goes from Flughafen Tegel, which is the airport, Tegel Airport, to Alexanderplatz, uh, Memhadstrasse, uh, Mem if I'm saying that right. I think I know where Alexanderplatz is. Um, if I, from like my days of playing like World of Subways, uh, Berlin, um, Line Seven, uh, U Seven. I, I kind of recognize some of some of these names, not all of them, but Alexandra Pratz is one of those names I do remember. Also some stuff from OMSI, because, you know, back in the day, OMSI had, you know, the, you know, the Berlin roots and stuff like that. So uh, definitely some of these names are ringing some bells for me uh, in my memory. But the route itself is just this TXL route, and it just goes basically back and forth between T, uh, from Tegal Airport to Alexander Pat. Uh, there's different variations as, as well, where you can have shortened uh, shortened routes, where you might just be doing Tegal. Like say here, you could you be only just doing Tegal to Robert Co uh, Robert Hopplatz, if I'm saying that right. So there's different variations of the routes that would obviously uh, span through the day, and what looks like to be a much more extensive timetable kind of view here is as you can see in this edit you can create and edit timetables for all lines so this is quite uh, extensive in terms of how eventually when an economy mode comes in where you want to build your bus company and you want to edit those kind of like finer times within the timetable for this game it looks like you can go really go in and uh, really tweak around because as you can see here you can see all of the sort of monday to friday kind of like slots and stuff like that and bus timings for each of the kind of routes and the set buses which is really cool uh and then what's here just yeah different tour numbers and you can see uh, it, it it's extensive in terms of like what you can do with this timetabling mode which obviously is something we didn't see in like fan bus uh even i don't think there was in tourist bus simulator but i've not really played that game that much but this looks really interesting and i can't wait to get into that more obviously i'm not too sure yet how it all kind of works uh because you know i'm very much so new to this game and look forward to learning more as we go but yeah this is just the game i'll just give you a little showcase before we get in and do some driving i know you guys are eager for me to get in to the bus and uh get some driving because uh <laughs> i know you guys don't like me talking at the beginning of videos and actually explaining what's going on but i feel as this is my first video on this game uh and i'm showcasing it to you i want to just be thorough uh, and just show you the game itself not just one part of the game uh, as i said there's this early access roadmap which actually takes you to a website i think it's trello they use it which uh, loads of places use for like showing like roadmaps and things to come in like um future like patches and stuff like that it gives a really nice breakdown of where and um, what is you know what's coming what's planned what's uh, in development for the fit for the like eventual phases and then obviously the full release of the game and but again the steam page actually show the steam uh, store page for this game actually breaks down really nicely what they're actually going to be doing in each phases of the early access like program and then 
what they're trying to aim for uh, with the actual full release. But other than that, I feel we need to get in and uh, uh, see what we're doing. What we'll see, see the map. See, I'll do a nice drive for you today of the actual line, this T XL line. <laughs> um, this nice little free play setup, obviously, it's a little bit different to. I'm I'm basically comparing everything essentially to Fanbus because this game, when I loaded into it and when I played a bit of it, it is just if for me initial thoughts, it feels like a very good Fanbus skin. Uh, that's not a bad thing to say because Fanbus I thought was a really good game and I like that they're going in a different direction, obviously with the one to one scaling and making more things detailed, multiplayer, economy mode, stuff like that, building your own bus company. So things to build upon on something like a Fan bus foundation is is a really good kind of thing in my eyes and i very much so look forward to the future uh, to the future um to the future additions patches uh modes features that this game will have now let's get into it obviously berlin is the only map and i think it'll pro will it be the only map i'm not too sure because obviously the game's called the bus it's not really called like berlin um bus simulator or something like that so maybe in the future uh, some more cities to be added potentially that's uh, exciting stuff to that that would be actually much more cool in a way because then you can just add cities with a lot of detail one-to-one -one scale and add more lines to it so this game actually has so much potential in terms of what you can add to it and honestly it could be in a in a way it could be like a unreal engine omsi of the future like a, a future basically omsi and even though there's things like loads of simulator this could actually be a modern more accessible kind of omsi world in terms of like you have different buses you have different one-to-one -one scale detailed cities in a much nicer kind of looking engine as in with uh, with unreal and i'm i'm quite open to that sort of idea tell me what you guys think in the comments down below but anyway let's let's really get into this now i do apologize i i even know myself i am kind of babbling on a little bit here but it is a new game it is early access it is i just want to you know i have just my ideas from my mind are just going you know i'm just it's a new game i'm i'm excited i want to get you know i want to share my thoughts and my commentary with you guys so that's why i'm just all over the place and i will get into the bus and i know there's going to be the person down there that's going to put in the timestamp it goes at all the driving and the video starts from at this timestamp so i know that's going to happen i don't care if you're here with me listen to my commentary you know the deal you know how it's always been right so again berlin that's the map uh the only vehicle currently is the scania citywide which i've actually played in omsi on uh one of the berlin uh i think it was the berlin x10 or x11 map can't remember what it was called but i have actually played with a, a scania i have driven in a game a Sc the scania city wide the bendy bus the 18 meter long version i do believe there is a solo version so a single non-bendy bus version that will be added soon i thought it would be added in this sort of like version of the early access I, I thought i would be able to play it as well with the bendy bus but the only thing that's available right now is the bendy bus i have actually seen in the files that you there is an man um kind of thing lingering over from firm bus so i don't know if there's an mam bus that will might be added and slotted into this game at some point because obviously like tourist bus simulator they shared the coach dlc releases with both games potentially we could see here even though i don't know if it would if it would match or kind of be appropriate for this game to have coaches in the city but there are certain buses there, are, there is an MAM bus and there is obviously the mini buses in Fan Bus and Taurus Bus Simulator that could just be plopped into here because obviously it's the same engine and kind of the same thing. I don't know if there's too much tweaking to do there. But only bus right now is the Scania Citywide. Uh, we have the same sort of kind of things here in terms of driving mode. You have realistic, customized, arcade. I'm going to leave it on uh, realistic. I've set up everything with my G29 with my shifter. Truck IR is working perfectly. It is just basically like firm bus. That's the sort of deal we're working with here. And I can say that it's not too faffy to set up and it's good because it, it basically is just the, the foundation there is of firm bus, which is really good. Uh, so line, obviously only, only one line to do. Let's do it a little bit. Let's do it like somewhere like midday, like 11 o'clock. There's not really much variation here to do. I am going to find, should we potentially do it from, but yeah, if you go here, you can actually swap through 
kind of what way round you want to do it. I'm going to do it from the way that we start at the airport. I think that would be nice to do. So we're going to go from Tegal to Alexander Pratt's somewhere in June, which is nice, somewhere in the middle of the day. We don't want any kind of, you know, let's go back. Weather, I'm going to put it as sunny uh, because I kind of just want a nice clear representation of the game. I don't want, we'll check out other kind of, uh, normally I would leave it on dynamic, but I want to just have it sunny clear so we can just see the kind of like detail and the kind of the graphics of the game. And other than that, let's start and let's finally get into that. I'm sorry that took so long, but I just wanted to be thorough with what I was like, my thoughts and stuff about the game and also show you the kind of like setup of the actual in-game menu as that, because it's my first time in this game. But let's get into it now, finally. And welcome to Berlin Tegal International Airport. And we are out here in the arrival, departure, bus station kind of area, car park, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have our bus driver avatar thing person here that I guess eventually you'd be able to kind of edit it like you can in fan bus but generally when you kind of come into into the game it is very much very much so fan bus vibes in terms of uh, graphics and stuff like that of course here is the Scania city ride which I have to say looks very very nicely detailed it's that very um, distinct BVG yellow that uh, their buses do carry uh, even the passengers are straight ported over from Fernbus. Again, these are not bad things because, you know, Fernbus still looks like a really good game. But obviously the detail in this game is going to be a lot more uh, better in terms of, because obviously it's a one-to-one -one representation in terms of scale. So let's get into the bus now, shall we? If I can, uh, if this guy obviously is a little bit, a little bit keen. I did also wear today like a yellow shirt just so I could match the sort of bve uh, i mean the bvg sort of uh corporate yellow uh it's 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 it's, it's a little bit off the color but i thought i'd match for uh for for this uh first video in uh the bus uh right uh inside the bus it's it's just the kind of affair here it's just a kind of standard affair off the city wide it's just that you know that typical kind of berlin uh commuter bus and the detail is is there uh, i would say slightly even better than what i've seen inside fern bus coaches but it's not too far off it's 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 there and i i've never had an issue with the detail and stuff with uh, with fern bus coaches but in here it's really really nice and i'm really liking it uh let's get into the seat let me see if my track IR, I think it should be all adjusted. I've changed the FOV a little bit as well in here. Uh, so it's a little bit back, which I do prefer when I'm actually using track IR and my G29 setup. So what's nice also is the tutorial thing shows you kind of stuff, what to press to kind of get things going. So it's really kind of a lot more easier, I would say, than when Fernbus came out where you just had to kind of read all the keys and stuff like that and work stuff, uh, work stuff uh, out yourself. Even though I think later on they did add some stuff like prompts and stuff. So it's nice that all these kind of things are added already. We're putting on the destination board. I'm going to get the ignition going. Hold to turn on the engine. And that way you're hearing there the bus automatically kneels down when it's on which is quite nice for a commuter bus and it's just going to make ac accessibility for our passengers really good. Get the air conditioning on. I hope this is not going to be an issue like with Fern Bus where I'm just tweaking the air conditioning to just please the needs of everyone on board, but it's here in this game. If you like that sort of stuff, it's it's made a return here into the bus. Uh, right. As you can see, there is a ticket machine, which is something very cool to see. Ticketing system, which uh, again, something like OMPSI, um, but not like um, Fanbus. Fanbus, obviously, you had the app and you would go outside, you would interact with the passengers. With this one, we're interacting with the passengers on board. It's in a bit of a limited state right now. People just come up, they don't really say anything. I don't know if they're supposed to have dialogue or anything like that, but the little HED down there where the ticket comes up says actually. Uh, really nice it shows the kind of like amount and what you need to give uh, right now though I've found a kind of like a little bug where you can't actually get the mouse cursor in this sort of view when you're actually on the sort of steering kind of view so you have to kind of um, go into the camera modes uh, and flick through to kind of do it so I'm just going to start here it's gonna on this little like ticketing system uh, uh, screen put in the tour number 44 
there we go and that just sets up there the kind of like to and from kind of like the um ibis of kind of like just again just reminding me of ompsy which is i don't know good and a bad thing at the same time uh but essentially it's again it's also similar to bus sim 18 in terms of the ticketing where you can give change with uh different uh amounts here available to you which is quite nice uh i could go through we go through the uh, camera views. This is also got the door button thing. We go also the gear shifter. The again similar to this fan bus. You have the instrument panel uh, camera. Down here we have just the thing which we actually can turn on the lights for the uh, passengers. Uh, well, it's traction controlled if you want to be a bit of a daredevil. Fog lights and the lights. Uh, I'm gonna should I turn on the lights? Yeah, I'll turn on the like side sort of like the low the low lights, uh, and then we go down here, which obviously we have the air conditioning dials. Uh, turn off, turn on light for bus stops, which I think is a nice feature. I might see what that actually looks like. So we get to next bus stop, and then it's just um, there's nothing really much, and then switch camera for observation, which I think is a little camera that's actually up here which you can kind of flick through, which is nice to see that that's like there as well to kind of like check the back doors as well when you open them at bus stops. But other than that, um, oh, one thing I do need to turn on, I need to turn on the passenger information display. So if I go out here, there you go, you can have that, which is all sort of BBG and it kind of, I think it all updates automatically. There's no like pressing Q or you know, thing where you're changing your kind of bus stops and making announcements and stuff like that. I think it's all done automatically. I think it's a little buggy as well, but it should be done like sort of all automatically. Right. Uh, let's go. I know I've been talking a lot and I know the timestamps will be down below. I, I, I know, like I'm, I'm not even going to be shocked if I see them. Uh, right. So foot on the break and then we're going to take off the Oh, actually, one thing, get into drive. That would be, <laughs> that would be useful. And let's go. One thing I've realized with the sound, and this is obviously if you're realizing, uh, why can't I hear the engine? Why can't you hear the engine? Is obviously, uh, this is a bendy bus. And the engine in a bendy bus is all the way back at the very back. It's rear engined. So in a way, it is sort of realistic that I can't hear it. It's almost like I'm driving an electric bus. Some MANs there, which is cool to see. You can hear quite a bit of rattling as well uh, off the bus. I think some of the sounds as well are a bit, uh, let's say they're a little off. Uh, they could be, they need a little bit of work on like the internal, Clutter is a little bit too loud for me. I might actually go into the settings and see if I can lower it. But these are really good sounds though. And then it just cuts off there, which that's a bit a little, little odd. They nicely come. They nicely fade in when, like, when I accelerate. But when I stop, they abruptly just stop. But again, this just I, I'm. This feels like, um, like, fan bus, and it is because this is the same engine. Uh, I'm looking around. I'm seeing definitely a lot more detail. This is not going to be like you know fan bus in terms of uh, the scale. Um, and I'm, I, I need to pay attention to where I'm driving here because obviously I'm supposed to turn left there and I was sort of on the very far, um, I was on the very far uh, uh, lane, far, far right lane. But yeah, quite a little bit of a distance to our first stop which is uh, Buchol... Butchol's Veg, 
if I'm saying that right. But yeah. And these sounds are very, like, rattly. And there you go. Automatic announcements, which is uh, nice to, to see. I like that there isn't too much of a faff with, like, the IBIS system in terms of setting it up and having different codes and having to remember what codes and having files, uh, files with different codes and stuff like that. So, like, I'm just comparing here, basically, to, um, to OMC. Because you would obviously there was just all that kind of faff. Some people did like that faff. I personally didn't. Uh, I just like when the experience is a little bit um, just more accessible and just easier in terms that you're not wasting too much time faffing around with those kind of things. You could just enjoy the driving. But also there is a bit of that sort of simulated uh, aspect where you are inputting numbers, you are inputting a tour number or line number, whatever. And, you know, you do have all the buttons and stuff like that that can, um, um, you know, modify lights, you know, modify the destination screen, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, because we're not driving in terms of, like, you know, 50 kilometers, 300 kilometers, I like that on the uh, uh, HUD of the sat-nav, it counts down in meters, uh, which is a nice kind of thing. But yeah, this is, I have to say, the map, uh, the detail and stuff with the cars, with the AI, uh, the street. I'm definitely getting a very much so Berlin vibe. It just, it feels like I'm driving OMSI in terms of, because the only kind of comparison I have to in terms of driving in Berlin is basically OMSI because that obviously the original game was based in Berlin and I'm definitely getting a modern modern sort of Berlin vibe which is good right slap on the parking brake and we can open the back doors first and front door and maybe someone will buy a ticket. And no one's going to buy a ticket. That's great. Right, should we poodle along? Get the doors closed. Oh, I always keep forgetting this to do the, uh, the, the parking brake. Nice. It really does feel like a uh, an electric bus because of the engine being so far back. If you do go into like an external camera, you can hear the engine. Uh, it's again, obviously, it's just the distance uh, between me and the engine. But yeah, the the set, the, the, the rattling sound is a little bit. Uh, it's a little annoying, I have to say. I think. The internal um, rattling of like the plastics and stuff like that in the bus could be turned down a tad because this is a little bit uh, excessive, but at least the sounds are good. But yeah, I'm, I'm very much so enjoying this. I, as I said, like this is just essentially just a, like a nicer uh, evol evolution of like fan bus, and I really like that. I don't know what you guys think. Do you let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about this game? What are your thoughts about this game? Would you actually even want to get this game? Do you have fan bus? Are you contemplating getting this game? Maybe you've not even heard of fan bus or played fan bus and you're thinking, oh, what's this game? Because obviously there's going to be so much in terms of features that are yet to come. This is a very early build. I don't know if it's an early build, but it's an early point of the uh, alpha. Uh, where we just have this one line, we just have this one bus, we just have a few variations of this one route that we have with this uh, TXL. Uh, there's still so much in terms of stuff to come. I think obviously the big one is multiplayer. Uh, it would be really interesting to see how the multiplayer will work in terms of if it's going to be uh, lobbies where 
you're driving on the same company, you're driving on different companies, uh, all that kind of jazz. And that's definitely exciting me quite a lot. But I have to say the detail is quite good, like phenomenal actually. It shows you what the Unreal Engine uh, can do and in terms of like how I thought Fernbus was detailed but obviously that wasn't one to one so things weren't really realistic in terms of distances and road coverage and even the cities they did feel authentic to that actual city but there was just obviously something off because obviously you can't they didn't they didn't put the whole city in but I am now in this game I am driving one to one this is one to one scale of Berlin so this feels already really authentic like distances and stuff like that between uh, stations like can really really good oh we have a little train station down here. But yeah if I go into ex an external camera you can see here the bus and you can hear the engine at the back here and this looks like a is this a U-Bahn S-Bahn station yeah. So far, no one has bought a. Um, no one has bought a ticket from me, which obviously that's one of the uh, things I do wanna. Do wanna? Sh oh, I always keep doing that. And oh, am I missing a door? I'm not missing a door. Oh, I was in neutral for some reason. Don't know why. And what's nice is I like that I have my own dedicated bus lane, which is uh, very nice. And I'm just going to run a red light <laughs> as I do. Uh, the game runs as well fairly smooth, I would have to say. I think it's a little bit, obviously, again, this is an early access game. Um, I would say it's not as optimized as Fernbus. But it's definitely good from, like, I remember when Fernbus initially came out, there was some uh, teething issues in terms of, like, performance. But this is not too bad for, like, this sort of, uh, like, at this point uh, in the game's uh, journey. It's not too bad at all. Can go shuffle through some of the other cameras. Got the tunnel camera here. We're going to check on the passengers. But yeah. Oh, does it just slap it in neutral when I stop? That's interesting. All right. That's uh. That's interesting. And these brakes are very good. You really don't need to, I don't know, the brake is a little bit, a little bit suspicious actually. Like I didn't even put much pressure. I feel the acceleration's good. I think the acceleration of the vehicle is actually really good. Uh, the braking's a little bit too good. But yeah, I I re again, I do like I do like that track IR and everything is like supported straight off the bat, which is really nice. Turn left here. to remember that I am actually driving a I'm driving a <laughs> uh, a bendy bus here it's not just a single floor right uh... nice I think my track IR is having a little bit of fit oh there we go we're gonna sell a ticket finally uh, let me get onto the ticket kind of camera because I can't activate a mouse on that you know normal 
so they want a single ticker AB. So AB single ticker. Uh, you get it nicely printed out. Uh, when you click all the money, it tells you how much they've actually paid in. You you have to do the mental maths and work out how much to give back. So we need to just give one. That's perfect. Uh, another single ticker AB. You can just keep it on there and just print that out. And another one euro back to this person. Lovely. And then that's it. And to me, that's a nice, balanced kind of ticketing system where it's not too complicated. And we can shoot off. It's not too complicated. Uh, it works. And uh, there is some variation in terms of there are different tickets uh, in terms of what people uh, could want, which is nice. But yeah. Oh, this is a bike lane. It's, it's, it's quite uh, interesting driving on like much more narrower sort of uh, city roads because obviously we're just driving in a city currently uh, where whereas in fan bus it was mainly just you're driving on the motorway so there's a lot more concentration involved in terms of uh, good quality of the uh, announcements as well I feel though the game would need a little bit a little bit more optimization I think because obviously there's a lot more there's a lot more detail that this game is handling in terms of assets. You have a lot more buildings. You have a lot more detail that you're rendering in at one time. And the thing is, I've, I've even recently upgraded my computer. I actually have a much more stronger uh, processor. I have an i7 3700K, which is like the, the most newest um, CPU that my motherboard can take currently. And I have that um, uh, accompanied by a... Uh, GTX 970, which is a bit of an old graphics card, but by no means uh, a uh, a weak one. Do I turn? This looks a little bit suspicious in terms of me turning here, but we will do it. And hopefully the second end of my bus uh, complies and does it. So my specs are like decent enough specs to run this game but the game does feel like it needs to be just polished more to to run a bit more fluid how like say fan bus runs and obviously that, those those things will come in time again this is an alpha so <laughs> what am i expecting here uh everyone on board doors closed there like little p uh, pop up and obviously this one you just uh, look up on this monitor. Right. Yeah, it really still just buckles me that the, the, there's no sound of the engine in terms of it just... Uh, maybe, I don't know if this if this bus is a... Uh, uh, sort of has like hybrid capabilities in real life. Where it maybe starts off... Um, starts off in electric mode and then... Put, uh, engages the engine for a bit more torque. But next station is Half Ban Half. But it is quite refreshing actually driving in a in a built up city in this sort of uh, kind of in this kind of sort of game. I do apologize that I keep referring it to like a fan bus type of game, but I have like that's the only thing I have in terms of a comparison to this game. Obviously I could compare it to something like again that what I've said is like Omsi, because I feel this game has the potential to become that modern Omsi that maybe we've been waiting for. Maybe that Lotus simulator would have been, but it's just never coming or it's some some time away but this could 
I could see potential for this game in terms of expansion and additions and stuff like that. You could definitely, the way that they've um, done all of this Berlin, um, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's all of Berlin, but I guess it's Berlin, all of Berlin for this uh, TV, uh, TX, uh, TX, what is it, TXV, TXV group? Probably both it, TXL, TXL. What a weird name for a route, but who am I to judge? I don't actually remember if, if, if there's a TXL route in uh, OMSI, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe there is. And obviously we're not actually going that fast, we're only going like 40, 50 kilometers because we're not on a motorway. <laughs> The road quality as well. The roads are a lot more detailed as well. I find from uh, firm firm bus. Firm bus obviously have much more kind of uniform, samey roads. While this the roads have a little bit more texture, a little bit more detail. Definitely, this is uh, definitely exciting me for what's to come with this game. But do you let me know your thoughts down below, guys? Or if you have any questions as well for this game that I might be able to answer, I will definitely uh, do my best to provide you with uh, information. Um, one answer, or any sort of help with the game. Even though I'm still getting used to this game uh, in terms of what uh, it's all about. But of course, right now there isn't much you can do. You just you can drive back and forth on this um, TXL line. You can do little variations of the line. And that's basically about it, currently. Oh. Hold up. Hold the door. Ah, I was supposed to go the other way. Oh, silly me. Let's just, uh... Should we... Yeah, we, we, we kind of, uh... Kind of need to correct that, don't we? <laughs> Reversing a bendy bus is just uh, uh, not my idea of fun. Oh boy, that was a absolute mission and I do not want to do that again that was not fun but um, hopefully I edited that so you guys didn't have to feel the pain with me but that was that was some tough that was some tough shit <laughs> uh, reversing bendy buses is very much so an art form but we did it, and we're, <laughs> we're back on the right track for our next station, which is uh, half and half. And also my track IR got destroyed uh, through all the vibrations that my G29 was making while I was trying to correct that error. So uh, the positioning is a little bit, um, let's say, off. <laughs> but uh, it's, still, it's still presented nicely. Okay, is this... I think we can... We can, yeah, we can slip past the police, and that is not, is that my, that's not my light. Then these brakes, they're just so sudden. And we are finally off. And that looks like half Van Hal. Except the actual, wow, that's a gorgeously designed station. I'm liking that. I'll probably cause another crash 
here just because I'm looking at the train station building. <laughs> oh, and the little light thing here lights up when it's, of course. So we so we know um, when to stop at a stop if we need to actually let passengers off. I do not even want to let you know how long that red light was red. It's it's just one of those that you're just sitting there and probably you know feels like your your lifespan got reduced by fifty percent. Right. Half than how? Do we have any more people that we need to sell tickets to? Nope. They're all fine with that. Very nice architecture around here as well. There's a lot of like trams and stuff like that, tram tracks. I think trams are going to be a thing like AI in the game not obviously something that you can drive but i do believe trams are going to be a thing which will be part of the traffic i think if i remember correctly from reading on the roadmap and we press forward to our next station which is in validen in validen park A lot of roadworks and stuff. I've been also I've been noticing that quite a lot with uh, around certain parts of the map. There is quite a lot of uh, roadworks and just like uh, quartered on areas with like uh, for builders and stuff like that, which is nice. It just adds a bit more uh, realism to the to the game in terms of like it's not all just like a clean sort of environment. There is you know things going on, which is quite nice to see. Oh, and I'm merging here with the uh, tram tracks. Also, so there will be maybe eventually tram and bus stops. And this looks like a, a very high floor sort of thing situation here. I don't want to scratch the bus. Something like that. Yeah, look at that. It's crazy. Oh, it's not too high floor. I could have, I could have gone a little bit lower, but I was just being, I was just being a little, a little too cautious. Right, let's rock and roll. And this time, maybe I should pay attention to the sat nav because obviously I, I've never been to Berlin. I've never driven in it. I don't know what TXL's route is. Right, we're taking a very sharp um, right, and I feel like I need to stir the ship out wide. I don't know why. It's just literally pressed on the brake there. I don't know why. It's like literally I'm learning how to drive again. Robert Kochplatz. Robert Kaufplatz, oh, that's how you say it. Perfect. Anyone want a ticket here? Oh, yes. Uh, ticket button. Ticket camera, should I say. Uh, ABC. I don't know what. Zo oh, zone ABC, zone AB, zone BC. I see, I see, I see. Uh, single. There you go. And we need to give 20 cents back, I think. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, sorry. People were getting off still. <laughs> I do apologise. Close that door first then. And then we can close that door. And then this door. And we can be on our way. I think my track IR is just completely at the moment messed. I think it doesn't it doesn't know where my where my head is. 
I don't know. It's very temperamental. Like, if your track hour moves, it's basically best to kind of reset it. But I'm just, I'm just working uh, with it. I'm adjusting. I'm resetting my head. Instead of resetting the track hour, I'm resetting my head to, to, to adjust. Oh, this looks very kind of like business parky. I like this bit of driving, very narrow roads. Again, the detail is just really, really, really nice. Campus. Oh, so this is a university campus, do you believe? Oh, and is that a little? We actually have real shop teams in this game. Very nice. Stop. Uh, th yeah, these brakes are not not convinced yet. Hello, hello, hello. No tickets. You all disappoint me. The one game where I actually don't mind selling tickets and no one wants a ticket from me. Alright, let's go. Sorry, <laughs> I'll plot the paperwork at the end of the shift. <laughs> it's like I won't be able to do another shift. <laughs> I'm done for. Is there a little bit of automatic retardation on the brakes, I think, when I use the brake? Might be. Maybe that's something. Okay, everyone's on. See, this is how off my track eye is right now. If I actually look straight, this is where my track eye is now. So obviously that's that's no good. So I have to, oh no, to adjust somehow. Oh, Brandon, Brandon Dagger Tour, I think, is in line U7. I think. Do I go right on a red? Is it like a, is it like the States? Or is that... Am I reaching a little bit too much? <laughs> oh, this looks nice. Contemporary. Man, I think looks like a very nice city in terms of layout. And then, oh, there's a bollard. But driving-wise, I think the Scania is really nice to drive as well. So uh, it's quite nice. Everyone has their passes today. It's what I'm saying. Well, not bad. Keeping things at each station nice and uh, prompt. And I'm, I'm, I'm. Re this is really like nice. It's a, such a nice kind of, in a way, this sort of driving is kind of. I guess more interesting, more like more engaging, because obviously you're doing stuff a lot more, stopping and starting in, in with more stations compared to like the fan bus where you're just literally driving for eternity and then stopping every so often. So I do like the um, I do like the variability uh, with the with this game and just 
a lot like it's just exciting to think what kind of things can come in this game in terms of uh, um, like additions more lines more buses more ex extensions and expansions of the city i don't know if the whole of berlin is actually like completely modeled in this uh but it would be interesting to see obviously there's a lot more you know a lot more area and stuff to drive around in berlin and again there's just a lot of um there's a lot of roadworks and stuff going on. Obviously, maybe wherever the period was that this game is based on, there's quite a lot of uh, upgrades and stuff going on on this line. Oh, someone's, someone's going to buy a ticket, right? No? Yes? Oh, you had a phone out, but... Probably had his e probably had his e ticket out. Very nice. Yeah, it's just smooth, silky, like the bus just floats in a way. In a different sort of way to like a coach floats like coaches when you drive in the like, van bus they're, they're floaty but this is uh i guess also because it's a bendy bus and there's that um television tower i don't know what it's called but it's there Letting the bus now glide and then with a little bit of break. Perfect. Yeah, these last few stops here, I think, on the near to Alexandra Platz are a lot more closer together. While we started off, obviously, at the airport where they seem to be a little bit more spaced out. Oh, there's people getting on. I always seem to be clipping people on the on the back door. The dedicated bus lane is just so nice. But yeah, and the detail in this game is very nice. I feel this is this is my favourite sort of stretch now. somewhere but I'm very impressed so far for this being like a an alpha early access like game runs good Yeah, you can get a little bit, and I love what <laughs> talking about Alpha, and we're just seeing just pedestrians, pedestrians just literally out in front of me, wanting to die. A little external here, so you guys can hear the engine, because we don't seem to hear it that much. Very nice. Oh, is that a reflection in the billboard? Nice. Bit of external driving. I do not want to repeat that episode of um, having to reverse in a bendy bus. I have, like, literally reversing in a bendy bus is just... I don't know. In, maybe in real life it wouldn't be too hard, but in this game, like, it was just a, such an annoying thing. Just getting all twisted up and... Just couldn't couldn't do much really. Well, that's really nice. 
I've not seen other buses though. That's one thing actually I've not seen. I've not seen I've not seen other um, Scanias or other AI buses. So I don't know if that's been added yet. Let's get back. Spandauerstrasse Nieren Kirsch Kirsch Is someone going off? What is going on there? Yeah, okay, well it is alpha, it's in development. As you can see with the title and stuff, there's in development, not vinyl alpha, like it's this is all stuff that will be ironed out by the time of the full release. And obviously this is uh, an early access game, uh, which is something uh, different to how uh, Fanbus was treated. Oh, was Fanbus an early access game? I don't think it was. I just think it released and then they just updated it. From my recollection. And I think. The last stop. Might be the last stop. Alexander Platz. Direction. Oh, I can go. A little bit late though. <laughs> That's fine, isn't it? A little, a little hiccups on the way. There we go. Oh no, you're see. There's a lot of licensed shops in this game. Like, I'm very surprised to see that. Very surprised to see a lot of licensed shops in the game. That's really interesting. But there we go. Um, I, I don't think this is... Oh, no, it is. It is route complete. Uh, TXL, um, number two. Uh, I guess... Oh, so you could just continue it, I suppose, and then do like a return trip sort of kind of thing. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go back to the main menu. But guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this first video of me looking at the bus by TML Studios, set in Berlin, driving the Scania citywide, and just me giving you a little showcase or check out of the game in its current state right now in this uh, in this alpha in this early access. Obviously, uh, I'm recording this at the time where before it's available to public release, so this build of the game might not be. The one reflecting in terms of it might not reflect the version that you guys get once you actually get the um, early access version once that's publicly available so uh, I'm, I'm guess I'm going to look at the kind of differences and the improvements that uh, that come with the game but these are just like I'm, I might just record a few videos here in uh, just the the, the pre pre launch of the game uh, so when the game launches I have a few videos to come out and uh, just showcase to you guys but uh, what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below i'm rather excited to see where this game goes it has a lot more potential and flavor than fan bus but even though i like fan bus i still love playing fan bus i'm obviously still doing the series and even with that game that game still has potential in terms of what that can be you know additions and expansions that could be added to that game as well as new coaches but with this game there's a lot more flavor um, that I think can be injected into here because obviously you have the economy, you have the thing of being able to edit timetables really extensively, you have um, the option to make your own company, uh, so all that kind of business aspect of the game. You also have multiplayer, which 
how that's going to look like but the fact that there is going to be a multiplayer is a real game changer in terms of like how you can play the game with your friends you can play you know the game with maybe i don't know if you'll be able to share companies and join companies and drive with people in the same sort of companies and then use mods in terms of like repaints for that company there's so much potential uh, freedom with this game and of course mods are we just going to see repaints or are we going to see other things that people can actually start putting into the game and, you know, modifying buses, modifying, I don't know, the route and modifying things within the company uh, that you, uh, I guess, eventually be able to make. So there's so much juice in this game. So I'm really excited to see where this game goes. Again, more information will be down below with a link to the steam page have a have a read uh it shows all the kind of information of terms of options and features that will be coming in this early access period of the of the game it also i'll leave the link down below for the roadmap of the game so you can actually see extensively how the devs have laid out what they want to add to the game um i'd like to thank as well tml for sending me out a key and allow me to test the game before it was actually publicly released and uh i just look forward to seeing how this game uh flourishes and turns out because uh, if it's anything like fan bus uh, it's definitely in good hands but i see so much more potential in terms of what can be achieved here and what what options and features that could be potentially added into this game and obviously are going to be added into this game and it's just i think as players i think we're getting we're kind of getting a little bit spoiled here in terms of of this bus simulator and another big thing as i did mention in the video I think this could be the modern OMC that we kind of have been looking for in terms of if they can get this right in terms of starting with Berlin and starting with the buses and the, all the right routes and additions and stuff like that and they do Berlin justice in the way of adding things and the business aspect with the economy and the bus company management and then also multiplayer what's gonna what's stopping them from adding more stuff adding other cities from other countries other buses that the, the, the expansion of this game is just like there's so much untapped energy here that could be let out if things get if we have a strong foundation and they build out this game really well in this initial crucial stage of how you know the base game is going to be with this first map with these first buses with these first routes with these first fundamental features the future is going to look so good for this game but that's my first video on the bus i hope you've enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and uh, feelings down below about it i'd love to hear them uh i will see you in another video for the bus or another video just in general but i hope you guys enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time bye bye we ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that Gotta catch a fast to do, fast to do The ship is cruising its cruise